So at this point, we have more than a dozen victims of Dr. Anderson. We know that Dr. Anderson didn't just provide medical services to the wrestling team. We know that he was also involved with football, track and field, and hockey, in addition to wrestling. We've been in contact with a number of different athletes beyond just the wrestling team, as well as individuals that were not affiliated with the University of Michigan as far as being athletes, but saw Dr. Anderson in a private University of Michigan clinic. Thursday, um, different victims will be able to come forward and request that the University of Michigan accepts accountability for decades upon decades of these allegations and the University of Michigan's failure to take appropriate steps when they knew of these allegations to prevent this from happening to other generations of teens, children, and athletes. So the victims that we represent, again, span from 1970s, early 1970s, up until 1998. Every victim that we've spoken with wants the university to be held accountable, and equally, if not more important, wants to spread awareness so that one voice isn't silenced until it gets to 100. But that first voice is heard and actions are taken to prevent this from happening ever again.